Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that we're going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement a equals a plus 1 is executed in terms of n. Then we're going to determine a big O notation for the function f of n. Now below in the red rectangle, I have some pseudocode where we want to assume some arbitrary input for our variable n. Next, we have four integer variables, i, j, k, and a, where we set a equal to 0. Next, we have our outermost for loop that runs from i equals 1, and it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n. And then we have our statement i++, plus plus, which means that i is incremented by 1 each time. Next, within this for loop, we have our second for loop that runs from j equals 1, and it's going to run while j is less than or equal to n. And then we have our statement j++, plus plus, which means that j is incremented by 1 each time. And finally, we have our third uh, for loop that runs from k equals 1, and it's going to run while k is less than or equal to n times n, or n squared. And then we have our statement k plus plus, which means that k is incremented by 1 each time. And within that for loop, we have our statement a equals a plus 1. And we want to describe the number of times that that statement is ran. So let's go ahead and get started with a brand new sheet and uh, determine a function or create a function that can represent uh, this pseudocode. All right, so here I'm going to create our function f of n. And what we have to remember is that for loops can be represented as summations. So we have a for loop, our first for loop that runs from i equals 1 to n. So we're going to have a summation that runs from i equals 1 to n. And now within that for loop, we have a second for loop that runs from j equals 1 to n. So within the summation, we're going to have a summation that runs from uh, j equals 1 to n. And now within that for loop, we have another for loop that runs from k equals 1 to n times n or n squared. So within this summation, we're going to have a summation that runs from k equals 1 to n squared. And within that uh, function, we have a statement that's ran, um, that's executed a constant amount of times within these loops. So we're just going to have a 1 here uh, representing that statement. All right. And so now we've set up our function f of n. So now we need to solve for this function, and we can start by solving for the innermost summation. So we're going to start by solving for this summation here. And we can use a formula that I'm going to put at the bottom. And this formula states that if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, then this is equivalent to just n. And so we can um, substitute out the or substitute n squared for our n in the formula, and we can substitute our k for our i in the formula. All right. So now if we rewrite our function f of n, then we get the summation from i equals 1 to n of the summation from j equals 1 to n of n squared. Okay, and so that whole uh, summation above becomes just n squared, and that's because all we had to do was plug in um, the the n squared value uh, from the function in the formula. All right, and now uh, using the properties of summation, we can pull out that n squared, so we get n squared times the summation from i equals 1 to n of the summation from j equals 1 to n of 1. All right? And we're going to use that same formula again to solve for uh, this summation here. So now our function f of n is equal to n squared times uh, the summation from i equals 1 to n of n, because that summation just becomes n using our formula. All we had to do was replace the variable j with i in our formula, and we can see that we get just n. So now we're going to use the properties of summation again to pull out that n. So now we get n squared times n times the summation from i equals 1 to n of 1. And let me rewrite that a little bit better. All right, so now we get that. And this is equal to n squared times n times n. 
and this is just equal to n to the power of 4. So this means that our function f of n is equal to n to the power of 4, and that means that our statement uh, a equals a plus 1 is ran uh, into the power of 4 times. Now, into the power of 4 is kind of straightforward, and this belongs to big O of n to the power of 4. So uh, that's the function represented in big O notation. And so those are our answers. I'll put that in red here, highlighting the red. Uh, that's our function in big O notation, and this is uh, the number of times that our statement a equals a plus 1 is executed into the power of 4 times. So, um, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the uh, comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.